So I'm going to create a new project here. So I'm going to do add new project uh, and it is going to be a console app next. Uh, and the console app is going to be called chessboard. Um, and that is it. Uh, and you notice that chess, um, chessboard is in non-bold, <laughs> normal text. Uh, and fizzbuzz is in bold. So we're going to do right click and we are going to choose set as startup project. And so now this one is going to run when we run the solution. So um, um, a friend of mine is going through some pro uh, programming tutorials uh, at work and he came across chessboard. And uh, I thought it would be an interesting thing to talk about because it reminded me of fizzbuzz, which is actually um, the, the previous one that he did, but I didn't know that when we we're having a conversation. Anyway, so he said, how would you go about it? And I said, well, the, the, the cheapest way to do it would be for int i equals zero, i less than four, i plus plus, uh, console dot right line. And then uh, he's using space. Uh, the, the example uses space for uh, white chess squares and then hash for black chess square. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, that'll be eight. And then console dot right line. Uh, and then it'll be hash that, 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 like that. Console dot read line. And so running this will show a chessboard for all intents and purposes. It has uh, all those things there. Now, I was like, okay, that's that's cool and all. Um, not what I was thinking. <laughs> um, but that that's a solution. Um, but then I thought, okay, well, uh, how, could, how could I do this as far as like using a modulo? Um, so uh, then I thought, well, uh, a chessboard is basically an eight by eight grid, but eight by eight grid is is basically the numbers one through sixty four. So you start at one and you go all the way through to sixty four. So I thought, well, let's try that. So four int i equals zero, i less than sixty four, i plus plus. Console dot write, uh, and then it's going to be square. Uh, square equals square equals uh, space. Uh, let's make that a hash, otherwise make it a space. Uh, char square equals space. Okay, so we start off as, uh, we start off as a, a space, so we're showing a, the, the white space. Uh, and then once we've drawn a square, we want to make sure that the square is going to be, uh, we're going to alternate between the two. Now, this here, uh, this looks like I'm just writing squiggles uh, on here. In fact, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, sorry. I uh, just realized it's quite small, and I know a lot of people use tablets. Um, so this one here is going to show that uh a little bit better so you could rewrite this instead of doing it like that you could say if square equals uh space square equals that else square equals that okay that line there the one that i've highlighted is exactly the same as lines 19 through 26. Same as this. It's just that we're using a ternary operator uh, to make things easier, which says, if this here is true, return this. If this here is false, return this. And it puts it inside there. So it's a nice, neat way of uh, making your code really short. So if I build this and then I run it, you see that we get space, hash, space, hash, space, hash, space, hash. So that's good. So we want to actually move on to the next line. So the way we can do that is we can say, well, okay, 
So 0 through 8, so 0 through 7 um, is our first row. So 0 through 7 is our first row. So if we say uh, if i plus 1, whoops, um, mod 8, let's make sure that that's right in there. So if the, the current index value uh, mod 8 equals 0, console dot write line. Okay. So if we are at the last the last square in the row, we want to move down to the next level. So we run that. And we get that. Which is okay. <laughs> So you can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is right. But unfortunately, these have to be offset. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to um, flip these around. So we just add that line again. <laughs> um, or do we? I mean, what we could do, though, is we could... Instead, actually, let's do that. Let's do that first of all. Because um, I want to explain. I want to do a little bit more exposition here. Uh, and eke out the video. A little bit longer. So, if we run this now, you can see that we now have our checkerboard back. But, uh, we have a repeating line. And there's a, there's a philosophy in, in computer science that says, don't repeat yourself. So, we're repeating this line. So, if I do... Um, if I do Control uh, C, Control F, Control V, then I get that there are two duplicates of this line. Now I I don't want to duplicate this line, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one, and I'm going to take this one out, and I'm going to say else do that because the last character on the previous line is the same as the first character. On the next line, so we don't want to we don't want to swap it unless we have to. And now, so this is all our program here. Third lines thirteen through to twenty seven is our program. That's our program to draw a chessboard. So we're going to go through. We draw each square in turn. Um, we check to see if we're at the end of the line. If we are at the end of the line, we write a new line. Uh, if we're not at the end of a line, we swap the squares around. So when we run it, we end up with a chessboard. And that's how we can do a chessboard without writing a chessboard. If that makes any sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, and so that's the program there. Hi right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Uh, feel free to subscribe and hit that notify button. And if you want to share this with uh, friends and family on social media, that would be great as well. Again, you owe me nothing. Uh, as far as this uh, this is concerned, I'm quite happy making these videos. Um, but yeah, uh, I have other videos uh, on this, this subject uh, over here on this side of the, the panel. So uh, if you want to give them a, a try, that would be great as well. And uh, I will catch you in the next video. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Keep coding. Pass on the message that uh, coding is fun and, and, and it stimulates the mind and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.